Marcus didn't go. Easy, fun, enjoyable evening with the fans. Is it any scrimmage uh, tonight? No, 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 no scrimmage to tonight. No contact. We could have already did. We would do some like warm ups with some three on two stuff like that, but nothing, no live uh, contact. Want about Bradley? Is Brad <laughs> in the city? Uh, he did not uh, come today. He's resting. Uh, he will. Get evaluated later on this afternoon, 48 hour period. Uh, see how he feels tonight. He's still he's in feeling, the city. Yeah. Like in the city, city. I didn't know if he was going to get back to the city. It's only better. Yeah, but it's like I said, the testing we do at NBA protocol is 48 hours. So we'll test him uh, this afternoon. So he feels, but, so It's a combination. Now guys are really just honing in on what we do and just trying to get better at it. Uh, like I tell the guys all the time, the effort's been great. Now we just have to focus on the, the techniques, the minor details to really give yourself a chance on both ends. Uh, but it, it, we're still working on a lot of things. It's still it's a lot to put in. It's our fourth day. Six or seven practices in, but I thought the guys today was the day I was worried about. I know yesterday is the, the hump day that we like to call in the middle of the five, five days, five, six days of work. But today was the day I, I was worried, but they they fought through it. They fought through some fatigue and they kept working. And I thought it was, ended up being a great day. Yeah, it's it's important communicating with your teammates is uh, we take it serious because it's um, you have to have that chemistry on the court. You can't just expect to go out there and not talk to one another and expect to have a good team. Uh, it's about trusting each other, it's about communicating. It's also about how you communicate. You can say the, the same thing two different ways and sometimes it doesn't come across the right way. Our, our guys have done a great job of communicating with one another. 
there's a lot of moving parts on a basketball court. And so when you have the communication with trust, it makes the game uh, a lot easier for the team. The same thing with John. Uh, yeah, we, we probably did, we did a little more. I'd say we probably was on the floor for an hour and a half or so, a little more. We probably got over an hour of work in. These, these, like I said, the last couple of days, every day is he's progressing very well. Uh, we did some, um, did most of it, most of the stuff in step to five or five strings. How have the uh, rookies been pro progressing so, throughout the training camp? Good. You know, that's their, they've all, they've all had, uh, showing some good flashes. The, the thing, being a rookie in this league, it's there's a lot to pick up, uh, and we move along fast. I mean, in the college program, you can do the same. They have like a six-week training camp before their first exhibition game. We have, I think, five or six days of work. So there's a lot of there's a lot thrown out on them. But I like to do that and see how far, see how much they can pick up and how much they can retain. I, and I think all three guys. Uh, actually, four with, with Thomas has done a great job. Uh, it's good having a veteran group of guys around them. They're, they're setting the good examples of how to how to lead the team and how to lead the drills. And, and the younger players are just following following up and seeing how they're how they're performing during practices. Talking with, uh, talking with Kelly on Wednesday after practice, saying that he feels like everyone's already bought in uh, very quickly. From the other side of it, do you feel similar to that? With I'm, I'm very pleased with how, how everybody is. Working, uh, buying in. I mean, that's our job is to buy in. It's uh, we all get paid to do our job, and we have to do it every day. Uh, but Kelly's been Kelly's been terrific. The guy has great energy. He has uh, athleticism. Like I keep saying, you know, my job is to kind of keep pushing him and demanding excellence out of him to be an elite defender. Uh, when he plays solid on the defensive end, he causes havoc because he's so long and quick and aggressive. And when he gambles. It causes a problem for his team because they're all trying to recover for his uh, gamble. But when he stays solid, he's 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 very 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 good for us defensively. Four days in, uh, a lot to go over, a lot to teach. Uh, have there been moments where um, maybe had to get on the guys, and maybe make a point more more known? Yeah, I mean, the guys understand when I what I want when I want to make a point. But, it's been great so far. I didn't. I've never had to like really stop guys and, and focus on an area that they're not doing doing what I'm asking or the coaching staff is asking. Uh, the effort's been great. You know, a lot of times you get on players and teams if the effort's not there. But I, not one time I had to stop the practice because the effort wasn't there. Uh, talk, stop the practice to teach. Uh, is definitely happens throughout the practices just because you're putting a lot of stuff in. Uh, they've done things in the past, um, last year's team or the teams that they were on is a lot of times somewhat uh, totally different than what we're doing now. So I, uh, I'm patient with teaching guys. That's my job. My job is to teach our guys uh, what we want, to, uh, we want done and what's accepted. But the effort, I have not stopped it and chewed anybody out because the effort wasn't there. And, and with our group of guys, I haven't, I haven't suspected that that will be the case very often. And um, with defense first, a guy like Marcus Thorne, who's always been known as best in offense, uh, does his role need to change now that you want the team to be a certain, have a certain identity? Yeah, you know, the, the thing that I, I look at defense, like, for instance, with Marcus, that guy has been a professional scorer for a long time in this league. And... He walks on the court and the ball finds him and he finds shots. He can score. He, can, he has good range, he has he moves and he's smart. He's a smart player. But with 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 defense, all five guys have to has to participate. You can't have four defenders on the floor. Uh, and and I look at defense as just being solid. Uh, you don't need to be a special defender, you just need to be solid and you need to do your job on the court. And, and guys have to know that you can't improvise. By improvising, you're the only one knows what you're doing. I and mean, four guys are guessing. Uh, so with Marcus, I think he could be a solid defender like the rest of the group. But he's definitely a guy that can score in bunches off the, off the bench.